Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, the ARC token, arguably my favorite token out of all of the Reaper economic system. And the Reaper economic system is uh, these tokens right here. And uh, this one is my favorite. Uh, and if, whether someone has told you about it and you're now listening uh, or I'm about to tell you about it, you may have heard uh, that it incentivizes uh, participation in charity and in charitable giving. Uh, it also sets an incredibly high standard for charities, increasing the quality of charities that are around us, and also creates sustainable income for those charities that meet that high bar, making a sustainable income stream for both the charities and passive income for the holders of the token. So we're going to get into all that today. We're going to get into how the sausage is made, um, what the token has done in the past year. We're going to take a look at the vision for the token and the company in the coming future, as well as the roadmap that uh, the ARC Institute has laid out for itself. Um, but all that to say, uh, some cryptocurrencies are, you know, just for the sake of it, the speculative value and the fun, um, which is the, uh, the meme tokens. There's others out there that have utility, uh, and that is what's going to make them amazing in their industry. But ARC, as well as Reaper, and you know even Ascension Index, are going to be world-changing tokens. And so this is going to change fundamentally how we interact with the world and the quality of the things that are around us, I believe. So I'm super excited about it and happy to share it with you today. Um, but before we get started, none of this is financial advice. I'm simply, or, or, and I'm also not paid by ARC or Reaper Financial or Autumn Industries to make these for you. I'm simply a passionate community member that wants to share with you um, how awesome these things are because uh, these thing, these passive income tokens do not get the credit they deserve. And so I, I need to get the information out there. So I'm glad you're listening. Um that being said, uh, you will need a Zaman wallet uh, to participate in this. I have tutorials. All the links you need that you see here today will be in the description below. And all of the graphics are on the um, Reaper Financial uh, Discord group if you want to join that. But yes, uh, without further ado, let's get into ARC. Um, but of course, ARC is again, a part of this Riley economic system. A part of uh, an ARC Institute is a company within Autumn Industries, as we'll get into a little bit later. Uh, but it sits among these tokens, um, and uh, PLR is about to be launched. Box uh, will come here in the future. Uh, but I also have a video about that if you want to go watch it. But I've got videos on uh, and updates going for, I think, all these soon. So uh, go check them out if you want more details on them. But um, ARC Institute last year produced $27,000 in donations, not crypto, but dollars, to, different, uh, to four different qualifying charities. Uh, there were five at one time. They got taken down because, again, ARC ha uh, one got taken down because ARC has very strict gates you have to pass to be one of its charities. Um, if you are not an ARC approved charity and you are watching this video, don't stop here because, uh, we're going to get into one of their later phases involves all charities. So, uh, they still have to meet, uh, different guidelines, but, uh, we'll get into their gates here in a bit. So another 27,000 ARC, if you are a, uh, speculator, a, someone who wants the passive income from these tokens, this should interest you that 27,000 also went to ARC token holders in passive income. Um, 18,000 uh, went to auction uh, benefits charities. And I was luckily, I think I was part of the, one of those. Um, I think the first one. <laughs> so super excited to see that uh, helped them out. So uh, they're going to be doing more of them. And uh, again, I'm not with ARC Institute. I'm just a passionate community member that loves what they're doing. Um, maybe the team someday, but not today. <laughs> uh, we already went over that. And so let's go into the leader of ARC Institute. And so when you think ARC Institute, uh, the CEO and founder, 
uh, is got to be RPR. I think he also goes by Greg. Um, but he's well doxed and out there. So you can go see him on the website under their team. But he's a great guy. Um, he is just, he's got one of the biggest hearts you will ever find and um, look up to him a lot. And so just uh, if you haven't met him, go check him out. Follow him on his Twitter. The link to this will be in the description below. So go check him out. Go say hi. Go get to know him. If you are in a charity, you owe it to yourself to have a conversation with this man because um, he's changing the game, folks. Um, and he's doing it with his team and they are doing amazing things. So let's get into the amazing things. Um, so in a normal charity, uh, and you'll see, we'll get into how the sausage is made, but in a normal charity, uh, there's options for, for giving, right? Usually you give a donation and it's one and done and you give that donation and it provides a single output of good in the world. And if you need something bigger, uh, then a single donation, then you need to, then the needs remain unmet. So you have to keep asking for more and for more and for more. It's the problem with charity, right? So um, if you hold ARC tokens and you vote uh, by holding ARC tokens, an individual or an organization can direct ARC Institute to make a series of steady donations, which over time will amount to far more than a single donation. So... Uh, a charity holding ARC Inst... Um, so let me just go read the, read the rest of the graphic. The power of holding the ARC tokens. You vote on which charities you want ARC to distribute the funds from the sale of ARC tokens. The impact of your vote is proportional to the number of ARC tokens you hold. One ARC equals one vote. ARC Institute gives to charities that pass a high bar to make sure that lasting positive change is accomplished. Now, the benefit to holders is in addition to voting uh, rights uh, that gives you the power to direct the ARC funds, you also receive passive income paid in RPR and ASC. Now, if you have not watched my videos about those two, they all kind of work together in, a, in an ecosystem that adds layer upon layer of passive income. So go check those out. Each of which, as I said before, provides multiple forms of passive income. These passive income streams can be used strategically to compound your ARC tokens, holdings, and pay off debt, and more. Again, as I mentioned, you can visit Arc Institute for more information, but we're about to go into it now, so hold on. Uh, this is the Arc Institute white paper. Um, you can find this on their website. It is just right here on that button. Not too hard to find. Oops. So uh, we're going to just take a look at the overview, very high level. You have their gates and the standards here. You can pause here if you want to read them. I'm not going to go into full detail right now. Suffice it to say they are very high standards, and I haven't found any standards for nonprofits that are higher. If you have, let me know in the description, and like, sorry, in the comments below. I'd be very happy to hear about them and uh, would love to challenge ARC to, to raise their standards even more. But that being said, um, they have all of the, the functional components they go into. But phase two, oh, it was phase one. Phase one. Where's phase one? <laughs> uh, so phase two. <laughs> I guess we'll start there. Uh, the self-funding charities and marketing shift. And so you can see um, they're creating fun sell charities that can fund themselves through the uh, ARC um, and so forth. Phase three is going to be the ARC card, empowering an, the individual. So uh, if you have people that are homeless or whatever, you can donate to them through the ARC card. You can go read more about it. I'm probably butchering it. It's been a while since I've read the white paper on this, but I have created an audio white paper, I believe. So go check it out. Uh, phase four... Um, ARC rate the banking partners. Um, so you can go check that out. Phase five, venture capital incubation for charities. Uh, phase six, reimagining small town support systems. Phase seven, university endowments for lasting impact. And that's the end of it. They don't have that nice little light paper like uh, the other two do. So... Um, again, go check this out. It's definitely worth the read. You can get a high-level idea, but um, they are. Once we get into how the charity works, you'll see 
uh, how it's going here. But again, these are the charities so far that have met those high standards. One of the things I love about the ARC Institute website is, I, I guess I can zoom in here a little bit, they have the total ARC donations that have been donated. So 107, sorry, what is that? 17,000 XRP and change. A total of $8,000 uh, and change has been given so far to, um, but they have an up, they have a ticker that keeps going. So that's how much has been given to battle dogs, um, since it got added to the list and they keep that ticker going for each project. And so they have the innocence project here, uh, saving the innocent. They have battle dogs, which I, you know, did the stream for. Uh, you can go check out that live stream. They're a great charity uh, helping veterans. And they also have mobile loaves and fishes. I haven't been able, hadn't had the pleasure of meeting them yet, but they've donated to them as well. And then Raising Men and Women's Lawn Care. Uh, they actually did their own charity auction on with ARC Institute alone, and they did an amazing job supporting them. So super excited. Uh, these two charities, um, Raising Men and Women and Battle Dogs, are both holding the token and uh, so if you have questions about it, if you're a charity, you might reach out to them and say, hey, what's your experience been? Um, but, you know, th these are two that I know are holding the token and are, in and are interacting with the, uh, with the ecosystem. So exciting stuff there. Um, so the first part you have uh, is the vote. And so you're, this image is created every two weeks and released on the Reaper Financial uh, what is it, Twitter or X. They also have it inside of the Reaper Financial, um, what do you call it, the Discord group. And there's a whole um, channel there for all these images. And they release them on a monthly basis. They let you know when these different events happen. And so we'll get into what happens during the event and how the sausage is made. But right now, just stay with me. Um, the what we're going to look at is in this video is again the uh the deluge which is the event from the rain here or sorry from the arc so you have the storm event they've also the rewards are called are called the deluge and that's when you hold arc tokens every storm event uh the same schedule as the reaping uh, if, if you watch my video video on the reaper token that's what they're talking about here it's the same event it all happens at the same time Rewards are paid out in RPR and ASC. That payment uh, event is called the deluge. So that's what happens. E find my place. There we go. That's what happens on these events. They all happen at the same time. It's on a Saturday. It might be moved to a Monday uh, as Reaper Financial is doing and opening up debt reaping. They've talked about moving it to a day of the week when the banks are not closed. <laughs> so uh, they're trying to align to the events to what makes sense. But right now it's been on Saturdays. Um, but if that changes in the future, um, might reach out to any of ARC Institute, uh, Ascension Index, or Reaper Financial for questions about when those events happen. But right now it's on Saturdays and has not been changed. I'll probably end up making a video about it if that happens, but we'll see. Um as time and life permit. Uh, but again, that's you take time to vote, and you can vote for different charities. And uh, we'll look at the vote here. Uh, this is the screen you vote on. You just go to their website. It's under voting. And you can sign in with your ZUM wallet. You need one to participate right now. They don't have, um, what do you call it? They do not have uh, their own wallet yet. That is on the horizon at some point. But... You sign in with ZUM or ZAMAN, as it's called, as they've renamed their um, their wallet, X-A-M-A-N, for those who are interested. But you sign in with your wallet. Uh, you just sign a transaction to let it read your wallet and your votes, depending upon how many ARC, arc you have. Each ARC token equals one vote. Your votes will be allocated and they will do the thing. Now, they are going to be upgrading uh, this to the a similar system to where if you want to vote once, uh, because right now Reaper uh, Financial, the Reaper token, has a voting system that they are working on an upgrade for debt reaping. And if you're not familiar with that, I'd go check that out on that video. Um, it will allow you, or right now, it allows you to allocate your votes continually 
uh, to one thing or another. So if you want to go in and change it, you can, but it will allocate your votes consistently unless you change it. Now, this is not that system right now, but that is what is going to be moved to here shortly from my understanding. So if you don't see this, you may have to log in with your Zum wallet and you may see a different system by the time you're seeing this video, um, but it's all there. You just, you're going to vote for one of these charities. Whether you vote or not, you will receive the passive income uh, is how the system works. So it's fair in that way, but they encourage and they want people to vote for the charity they think most is most deserving of their, um, of their participation and that passive income. So again, now we're going to get into how the sausage is made with the ARC token. And so uh, this is where I'm going to explain how the ARC token works and the mechanics behind it. Um, so the first thing you need to know, this is, again, a passive income token. And so how the ARC token works is it is not black hold. And so if you're familiar in the crypto space, black hold tokens uh, are like such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, XRP, there is a limited and finite amount of that token, and they cannot create any more of it. So um, that means that if uh, ARC, as well as Reaper and Ascension, are not black holed, they can create more of them. So there is a general risk, for those of you who are new to crypto, um, where uh, essentially if you have a non-black hold token, the risk is that you can essentially print as many tokens as you want and abscond with the money, rug pulling uh, and leaving your community high and dry. You, so where you absorb all the money and you run away. Now, that is a risk to non-black hold tokens, but Reaper Financial and uh, ARK and Ascension have stood out marvelously and are proven tokens at this point because they have a reputation to where they only ever print one million uh, we'll get into that here in a second, but they print in a sustainable and reliable and transparent way. Uh, and uh, this, I, I really want to lift up these different tokens. And it, while it may seem uh, like a red flag to some, I, I, I have to sit, I have to state it because those are the risks to a non-black hold token. But that being said, you know they are a member of the Blockchain Leadership Oversight Council. Um, both Greg and Patrick are. So they are setting the standards for what the blockchain should be, and they're utilizing this rather feared mechanic to do amazing things in the space. And we'll get into how, how to verify all those amazing things in the future in this video, but um, what you need to know is that uh, Reaper Financial has been going two years. I've been watching it since uh, its inception. I have videos called The Reaping Reports where... Uh, it's the same mechanic that's being applied here is being applied there, as well as, uh, and now Ascension and Arc have had both a year in them um, and have done amazing things during that time. So uh, what you need to know is that while there are risks, um, this risks are, these risks are mitigated by their internal processes, securities, and, and so forth. And they have done, they've built a reputation on consistently not abusing that power. So that being said, this is how the ARC token works. Um, every month, create the ARC. Yeah, every month, ARC creates one million tokens and sells them at market for XRP. Now, uh, ten percent of that XRP is sent to the operations wallet because, uh, again, these tokens benefit from creating an ecosystem where you benefit and they benefit. So they. The benefit you have to ask yourself: How does the team make money? Well, they make money by making you make money. So, this is how it works. And while that can, you know, I understand that may seem shady to some, but again, if you look at Ark and what they've done, uh, and we'll get into how to again how to verify it in a bit, it, it's been really amazing. But whether they need to pay their people, whether they're helping other charities, whether they're doing charity auctions, their ten percent is going to their operations, and so. Uh, the rest of that is divided four way, or is divided three other ways um, besides the operations. Forty-five percent of the XRP uh, becomes funds for donations, so uh, funds donated to charities in proportion to ARC vote. So if you get forty-five percent of, or sorry, let's just say fifty percent of the ARC vote, fifty percent of the XRP allocated is going to go to your charity if you are an ARC approved charity. 
for that example. Then 22.5% uh, buys RPR at market and distributes to ARC holders in proportion to their ARC holdings. So then you have 22.5% of the XRP buys Ascension or ASC at market and distributes to ARC holders based on the proportion of their ARC holdings. So now this is an amazing way to take the benefits of both Ascension and Reaper uh, if you are a token holder, for example, and you want both the benefits of Ascension and Reaper, you can earn it both of these passively by investing in the ARC token. And so if you're a charity, you, and especially if you're an ARC approved charity, you could uh, buy the ARC token, vote for yourself if, you're, if you get approved, and then you'd also be receiving the benefits of Reaper token as well as Ascension. Ascension, you know, the passive earning of gold, silver, uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. Um, you'd also be receiving, again, Reaper's benefits are passive income and XRP that you could then compound into more ARC or Ascension or Reaper. And also soon it's going to come with debt reaping, which is a passive uh, supplemental payment to your debts. So if you have a car payment, if your charity has a car, or if you have... Um, gosh, I don't know what another charity would have besides like vehicles, but let's say you wanted to get a loan to purchase food for, you know, the homeless or something. You could pay it off with a uh, loan from, uh, sorry, with your RPR tokens, depending upon how much you have and, and that dynamic. Again, go watch that video. That's not this video, but you receive both of the benefits. And so it's as a holder of ARC and you're just a token holder, you're not a charity, you're getting to help support charities. And if for me, it makes a lot more sense to buy an ARC token than to give a one-off charity. And I'm honestly very, um, what's the word? I'm very skeptical about most charities. I think they're a lot a way to hide funds for, you know, there's a lot of charities that do some pretty crazy things that if, if you find out, but like the, the charities that ARC chooses and that meet those gates, I'm very interested in because that's a way that I as a donator, as someone who wants to make sure that I'm giving to the right place, make sure to support those great charities. Now, if you're not an ARC approved charity, they, again, there's still options later that we're going to talk about, but um, it, you, you really as a charity, and if you're ARC approved, gain the most out of this token, I believe. So anyways, amazing things here, but uh, we already went over that. Um... Again, this happens every two weeks uh, when, when these things happen. And after these events, um, which in this case, we're down here looking at the deluge. Um, try to, well, I guess I'll scroll down. But these are how much Battle Dogs, Mobile Loaves and Fishes, Raising Minimums, Long Care, and Innocence Project got votes for the percentage uh, those votes accounted for, as well as the funding that was sent to them, as well as the USD value. And so you can see the funds generated, uh, the donations, the deluge to the passive income to the holders of the token. Oh, excuse me. Holders of the token. Um, so super exciting there. Uh, but again, they, they, the Reaper financial team puts this report out every two weeks along with that, those events. In this case, it's the, the storm that's called the event. And then the deluge is the passive income. So, um, yeah, they're an incredibly transparent company. You can go back and look on their X profile or you can go to Discord under the Reaper Financial and you can go and see, uh, or the Arc Telegram, they're probably all posted there as well, uh, and see all the history there. Um, but also the best part about uh, the blockchain is that everything is open and you're able to see it. So um, you can also... Uh, these are the different addresses that you'll receive the passive income from from these different tokens. So here we're going to look at ARC and we're going to look at this address right here. Because whether you trust ARC or not um, is huge to us. Or say us, but to, to ARC and to the Reaper economic system. Or Riley economic system as it's called now. Because... You want to know, if you're a charity, that this is real and it's going to provide you the passive income you're wanting. Um, as, a, uh, as a 
person who's just a token holder who's interest, maybe interested in charities, but maybe more interested in the passive income, let's be honest, you also want to know, like, hey, how do I, how can I verify that this is actually happening, that, you know, how, how do I build trust in this token that I'm hearing that sounds too good to be true? Well, we're going to look at that because, again, it's all open and transparent on the blockchain. So um, what we're going to do, uh, this is still from the last video, we're going to go here to ARC. This is XP Market, and you can see ARC is sitting here at just under a penny uh, and change. So it has about 6,000 holders, and so it's really, really early for this token. And I don't think that these tokens get uh, the, what do you call it? I don't feel like they get their day in the sun like they should. Like, this is the bleeding edge of crypto, and it's, I understand it's a complicated system, but... Like, it just amazes me how, like, this is just does not get the uh, the time in the sun like it should. But, um, again, we're here to talk about uh, the how to verify, right? So, again, if you're not familiar with uh, the blockchain, this is just a uh, XP market is one of my favorite tools. Got to give them a shout out because um, they provide, you know, the charts. And this is also a decent way to buy if you want to trade on the DEX. They have a way to do so, and the DEX is a decentralized exchange, not a centralized one for those who are new. Um, but, again, you can just come down here. This is the top 100 wallets. You can go find another wallet that's not in the top 100 that holds ARC, and you can verify the exact same things are happening. Um, but in this case, we're just going to click on one of these wallets, and I've found one here. Um, this is a wallet that holds ARC token, and we're just going to look, and we're going to see... Uh, if this address here, this RSPXM address pops up and delivers the passive income that it's supposed to to ARC holders. And so um, I don't have the charity wallets here, but if you could find or if they post the charity wallet for uh, either, what is it, Battle Dogs or Raising Men and Women's Long Care, if you had their wallets, you could also see that they are delivering XRP directly to the wallets based on um instead of dollars because if they some charities choose to participate and they will uh create a zum wallet and they will get xrp to them others uh choose to uh not participate and they just get dollars donated to them like straight up dollars so uh that is how that works for those who are wondering but again we're looking for this to verify if this, uh, what do you call it, this address is being used and is sending uh, Ascension and Reaper to ARC token holders. So that's where the proof is in the pudding, and the pudding is public. So we're going to take a look at that here. So I'm just what I'm going to do is hit Control F, and I'm going to put that RSPXM in here, and we can see that uh, that address pops up. And it delivered five Reaper. That address pops up, and it delivered seven Ascension. And that was on the 27th. And does that line up with the picture? Where is the picture? The picture is here. And so that was on the 27th of January. So that lines up. Next, let's look at the 13th. Does that happen again? All right, so we have the 13th, and we see that address again, delivering for Reaper. If we go to the next page, uh, we see the 13th again, the same address, delivering Ascension. And if we go back two weeks earlier on the 30th, we see the same thing, and so on and so forth. So you can go, and you can verify, you can choose any wallet that holds... Again, the links will be in the description if you want to look at ARC. You can go plug it in. And go look at all these wallets if you want to and make sure that this address pops up. But this this passive income is happening, people. Now let's look at how much they uh, own because, you know, uh, 10 a Ascension may not be much. Um, but it stacks over time for sure. Uh, but they we're looking for ARC. These are the tokens that the this wallet holds. This is just a blockchain explorer. This is xrpscan.com. So you can go there as well to view any address if you want to and see this this kind of page. Um, but ARC, they own 21,000 ARC. So how much is that? Like, 
let's just look. Uh, 21,000. So that's approximately $300 worth of ARC. So that gives you an idea of what, how much they, they earned. But so there's a lot of factors that play in here though. And that is the price of ARC, the price of XRP and uh, say $286. That's actually uh, less than that. Let's go to USD here. Um, sorry, give me one second. 21,000 is how much they had. That's $144, sorry. That was the XRP number before. So, but again, there's lots of factors at play. There's the price of ARC, there's a price of XRP whenever that exchange happens twice a month right now. Uh, or every other week, should I say. Sometimes it's three times a month, but it's every other week because some, some months are long and have multiple periods if it's every other week. Um, so it just depends on the price and what's going on now and how much of ARC you have compared to the total supply, which will affect your rewards. So if you have any questions with that, if it doesn't make sense, put it in the comments below. Um, but that is the ARC token and the power of it. And again, you can go and verify that all of this passive income is happening. It's very easy to verify. Super easy. It's been going on for a year. You can track it all the way back if you want, depending upon if you had a wallet that you knew had ARC in it from that time. But if you want to go digging, it's there. So um, that being said, let's look at the roadmap uh, for ARC Institute. This is published by Autumn Industries, which is the parent, or is it parent or umbrella company? I'm not sure, uh, of these different uh, tokens. So, ARC Institute, phase two, uh, will launch, and phase two has to do with, I'll go back to the white paper, white paper here, someplace, someplace, phase two, uh, phase two, self-funding charities, the market shifts. ARC Institute is a uh, complete pro bono organization, has done great work for a small group of people, but in order to do great work for many people, ARC Institute must monetize its efforts, understanding the potential for amplification, the dedicated market. ARC Institute will retain 10% of its monthly fundraising to build marketing and operational activities. Doing so, um, blah, 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 marketing will be dedicated... Uh, to the perpetual funding adhere uh, oh, marketing will be directed towards charitable organizations who will be equipped to apply for perpetual funding by adhering to the select gates of the 4th, 5th, 6th, and 8th, uh, backed by their Form 990 and 501c3 documentation. So, this is where I was talking about if you're not an ARC-approved charity and if you don't meet all of these gates then you can still participate. So um, there are select gates they will not budge on, but there are um, there's essentially less stipulation if you're a larger charity that they know that they can't meet all of those higher expectations. So uh, they'll be marketing to those larger charities. Maybe you're watching this because they did. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but the charities will not meet the full gates. They will be... Uh, on the, they will not be on the public voting roster. Instead, their holdings of ARC will be dedicated to vote for themselves, ensuring that they receive a steady cash flow without risking their funds. So while we may be able to vote, and token holders may be able to vote for other approved charities, these charities can still hold the token and participate themselves, which is really cool. Uh, it broadens the scope of what ARC is doing to a degree, so we'll see how that pans out. Um, so then they have the ARC app and pick your passive. So similar to what I said in the Ascension, uh, they plan on having an app and they plan on uh, being able to sign in and you'll be able to pick your passive income. So if you want more Reaper than Ascension or if you want all Reaper or all Ascension, you'll be able to choose and you'll be able to pick your passive income based off of, uh, you know, if you want to go min-maxi, if you don't just want a 50-50 it all the way through, um, you'll be able to pick your passive income and which one you want more of. Uh, P2, marketing push. So they're going to have, again, a marketing push to other charities that they did the launch for over here. And then an auction drive, which I don't know all the details about that. But the auctions that we've seen have been very successful in helping charities 
um, get the token, use the token, apply what they learned about the crypto to it. But again, all the timelines and projections are stated goals and are not to be taken investment advice nor guarantees. But I will say this, that other parts of this map are running pretty quickly and I'm expecting things to move uh, quicker uh, because generally speaking, this project delivers very quickly. Sometimes technical aspects, just like any project, can get ahead of a company, but at the same time, I think most of their systems are in place. And so I don't see any issue, especially for ARC Institute, uh, meeting any of these goals. And I cannot wait to see what they're going to do this next year. That being said, if you are a charity, um, if you are a token holder, right now you might be wondering, well, how do I know how much I want to get into? And so usually I would be recommending Ledger Snacks or another uh, community-based calculator out there. They don't have one for ARC at this moment, but they may be creating one in the future. You may check back on that website um, here in a bit. So um, go check them out at the time of uh, you watching this. They may already have that out. But just like any other community calculator, they'll tell you how much um, it will, and the passive income it'll give you based on different numbers here. But since this is not up, what alternatively what I would recommend is I would go in here and punch in into XP Market as an alternative to punch in the number of USD you want. Let's say you are a token holder and you want to give, uh, let's say give hold 300 um, USD worth in your wallet and you want to do a small experiment and that's small to you. I'm just throwing out numbers here, people. Um, and that would give you 43,000 ARC. And so you could probably go find a wallet and figure out how much ARC that would give you in comparison at that moment. Um, or you can just let it sit in your wallet and you would get every two weeks, uh, depending upon when you get it, it would be no longer than two weeks um, for to receive a passive income payment. And again, any issues, you can reach out to the team, but they haven't had very many issues at all. So um, go... Do a small experiment. Uh, if you want to buy some, you can use this calculator or this uh, the DEX tool here on XP Market to help you figure out how much uh, USD you would like to put in. If you're a charity, if you want to put in more, uh, as they launch phase two, who knows who's going to be looking at uh, you know how much votes they're going to be getting. Uh, but again, I can't wait for this, and I would love to hear your thoughts and your comments below. If you're a charity, I would love to know what you think about this. Uh, I know this is a complicated system, but the really the the simplified version of this is hold the token in a Zaman wallet, which is a self custody wallet, and receive your passive income. Um, and you may have to vote for yourself, but if you just have to vote once and it's saved, then you just keep voting for yourself and receiving your XRP, um. Or a check, possibly. I mean, I'm not sure exactly how ARC does that on the back end, but I know they've they've sent both um, checks and as well as XRP. So, and if you need to uh, sell the XRP to pay for things, then that's an option too. Um, but again, hold the token, receive the passive income, vote to vote for charities. It's simple. It's a simple interaction for you. It's complicated in how it's executed for the team, but all you need to know is hold the token, receive the passive income, and vote. And if you so desire, vote for charities. And if you're a charity, you probably want to vote for yourself. Um, or vote for other good charities. And it's a great way to get them into ARC too, which would be a great way to help the ecosystem and help your um, passive as well. So, um, yeah. Let me know your thoughts below. Uh, I hope you appreciated this video. If you did like it, if you it's free to smash that like button. helps the channel. Also, if you want to make a donation to me, I'm not a charity. I'm not a nonprofit. <laughs> but I do appreciate uh, any donations you would like to make. Uh, you can donate an ARC, Reaper, Ascension, and XRP uh, here. Or you can make a fiat donation if you so desire or like to. Uh, those links will be in the description as well. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. I'm JTXRP. Thank you so much. ARC's amazing. I'm out.